cuties welcome back to another unboxing video with yours truly Mel Mel. I am liking the little aesthetic that I went with today because we are in the month of October and it's spooky season and I wanted to wear these little cat ears today although my cats have not been appreciating it it's not like they're like super scared but they're like whoa like what are you doing that's our ears basically um, but yeah, even though we are into the month of October, I still have one last subscription box for the month of September, so we are going to quickly knock that out, and that box that we're going to be going over today is the September So Kawaii box. This box is absolutely wonderful, it has so many cute goodies. And just like a little bit of everything and it, honestly it's a crowd pleasing box rather <laughs> and my um, look is it actually too far off theme I guess um, oh, that's a Nixa in the background <laughs> she matches the black cat ears that I have but I'll show you in momentarily what I'm talking about so let's go ahead and get started So here is the brochure cover art and the theme for this month's box which is so Kawaii convention um, Yokoso Yokoso it's a popular convention over in Japan and when there's conventions there are cosplays and even though I'm not cosplaying anything in specific you know these ears could definitely be uh cosplayable i guess so i yeah i kind of match in a way <laughs> even though I, it was more of like the spookiness i'm just combining both of these themes so yeah super cute and as you can see their mascot is dressed up as miku giving a hint to some of the items inside of the box so let us read over the blurb Thank you so much for ordering the September 2023 SoCoE. Get ready for the most awaited convention of the year. This month's SoCoE Convention Yokoso, which means welcome in Japanese. Theme box is filled with many cute items showcasing some of your favorite characters and licenses such as Hatsumi Miku, Sanrio, Rilakkuma, and even Fruits Basket. So mark your calendars, get your cosplays ready. <laughs> and join us for another monthly dose of Kawaii straight from Japan. And then, of course, you know, I'll be going over the said items inside of the box. So I don't want to tease those. But the little um, article that they included into this month's feature is going over, like, the cosplay and anime community and just how massive it is and honestly inspired a lot of conventions around the world and then it's just talking about how there's literally something for everyone from video games to you know of course anime uh tv shows movies however i really like the pretty cute feature right there from happiness charge and then yeah so Let's go over these cute items that they have for us. Before I grab this item, it is the big item out of the box, of course, and one that a lot of people really anticipate out of this box ever since they started doing it two years ago, I believe, with Cinnamon Roll being the first one. And this time we are going to be getting this My Melody bag. You kind of could have saw or seen her rather um, on the cover art we have yet another like little plush uh, bag and it's so cute she's so cute look how precious she is her little bows along the top she has a cute little blushing look to her I love these starry fireworks um, design on her ears she is just precious I have so many of these plushy bags from the SoCoE boxes and they are amazing. I love using them so, so much. I actually haven't used one in a little bit though 
and I need to do I think the last time I used one was um, March of this year as I do my monthly bag swaps just so I can go through all of my bags equally and fairly and yeah here is the back side there's not really anything to show there and honestly the great thing about these plushy bags I'm trying to get it open is that they're very very spacious on the inside I actually can hold quite a bit of stuff in these bags and a lot of plushy bags don't have said space they literally have like the tiniest of pockets because you're mainly just displaying it for its cuteness but these ones are heckin cute and can hold a lot so when you're on the go that is definitely helpful and you are for sure to secure a compliment every time I use one of these plushy bags I without fail get a compliment and I live for that because who doesn't like compliments you know <laughs> so yeah very very excited about this item and I cannot wait to use her are not done with our plushies out of this box we had received one more little plushie but this time it's in the form of a keychain which is a lot of plushies so there was one of four potential Senro designs you could have gotten and I had gotten Pom Pom Preen he's been transformed into this little cube shape looking really cute I might add and yeah you just attach them to your bag or hang them up on the wall however you would decide upon it. In some ways, it's too bad I didn't get my Melody. I'm not sure. Oh, my Melody wasn't even a possibility out of these, um, actually, so never mind on that. I was gonna say it would've matched with the bag perfectly as a cute little uh, attachable keychain to that bag, but that's okay. Pom Pom Preen is actually one of my, like, actually, uh, he goes back and forth between my second and third favorite. Hello Kitty is definitely my first. And then I also really love Choco Cat, even though I don't get a lot of Choco Cat merch. He's just kind of forgotten about. And I really love Pom Pom because I have a soft spot for Labradors. So yeah. <laughs> Next item is gonna be that Hatsumi Miku item that got teased on the cover art as well. And we had gotten it in the form of this super, super cute plate. Let me go ahead and take it out of the plastic somehow. Kind of struggling here. There we go. So here we go. We have this really cute plate. It's actually of the Hatsumi and Cinnamon Roll uh, collab here going on. And it's so, so cute very spacious of a plate and I love that my cabinets are filled with such cute uh, like dishware silverware however you want to say it and um, it did mention in the brochure however do not use this in your dishwashers or your microwaves please restrict it to hand wash only and just things that don't need to be heated such as like you know um, if you want to put some baked goods on it or uh, like cookies and stuff or if you want to do like those like fruit and meat and cheese like little platters you can make yourself a little um, girl dinner or something like that if you know you know <clears throat> but yeah it's uh, made of melamine yeah it's a melamine texture so it's not quite ceramic but it's like a very like hard plastic feel and this design is precious. Next was mentioned in the blurb of the brochure was our fruit basket item. And we had gotten it in the form of this really pretty mouse pad. I'm not sure if this is an actual scene from the anime or just something that was created uh, like almost like a fan art type thing. Admittedly, I've never watched or read Fruits Basket, so I actually don't know. I do know, of course, of the main characters, Toru and Kyo, of course. <laughs> I, I know enough of that, and then, of course, they're based on the little Zodiac animals, which is so adorable. It is definitely on my to-watch list, my million-long 
like to watch this, I swear. It's so cute. As a mouse pad, it's perfect for me because I am a gamer and just computer user in general. So this will definitely get use um, quite often. So yeah, we love that. Next item is gonna be one of like practical use, like with the plate and mouse pad. We had gotten this really cute Rilla Kuma hairbrush. Look at him, so cute. <laughs> we have the little package featuring Rilla Kuma and Co Rilla Kuma on the top. So, so adorable. I have a couple of these hairbrushes that are, um, themed around a character. I have a Pokemon one and a Karomi one and I do like to use them. Um, I wonder how this one will feel in my hair. I have like a curly textured hair so a lot of hair brushing when you're not using detangler and or like damp hair. It, it you know. <laughs> but we shall see. Um, uh, I, I know us girlies know what we're talking about and of course any guys are anything like that that have longer type hair some hair brushes feel nicer than others for sure so i hope this one is at least a decent hair brush otherwise it's probably going to be display only i know uh i know i remember someone on social media saying this would be perfect to toss in your bag and i agree it is on the bigger side but it's still really cute and it definitely gives statement when you're like brushing your hair with it you know are down to our very last item out of the box and this one is very confusing at first I'm just gonna show it what do you think it is you wouldn't be too far off if you guess a nail polish or perfume because quite honestly this packaging makes it look like uh, one of those and then with the wand you're thinking well you know if it's not perfume maybe lip gloss but no it's glue <laughs> it's a liquid glue that you just brush on like nail polish kind of obviously not on your nails this is for like you know stationary and journaling and all that jazz but look it's so cute it has um a little shiba doggy and oh that's another doggy too want some sort of little fluffy curly dolly doggy oh my goodness I can't talk but yeah very interesting packaging I I like it honestly I love the aesthetic of things like this but it's like wow if you didn't know um I'm assuming when you open it though opening it right now it does smell like glue so yeah <laughs> but if you didn't know initially and you're like what the heck is this it could easily be mistaken for nail polish or lip gloss or anything like that. You would never think, oh yeah, that that's glue right there, you know? But it's just one of those little small filler items. But honestly, I'm all here for it. I use glue quite often because I'm always gluing down like little papers and things like that to my journals. So these are very, very handy. And hopefully it's at least a decent working glue. Um, if you came for one of my other videos, that glue stick was not that great, although I didn't use a lot of it, so we'll, we'll see. The verdict is still out on that one, but the initial reaction, I wasn't pleased with it, even though it was adorable. So hopefully this one works better. Hopefully it works better. But yeah, that was everything inside of our SoCoE box. Of course, of course, the favorite is my Melody bag. This one has to be the favorite out of the bag, or out of the box, rather. It's so cute. It's so pink. It's so girly. It's it's a statement. <laughs> it's a lifestyle. This one is just perfection. So even though this one is the obvious win, um, I think the next one that honestly I would pick is probably this plate. I'm very pleased with it. It's so cute. I definitely have to like mark down like, oh yeah, no dishwasher, no microwave. But honestly, with a lot of like the dishes that I get from these boxes, I just automatically assume no dishwasher, no microwave. Just to be on the safe side, because it is hard to keep track of these things. And it's like, I don't always want to refer back to the brochure with every single item. You definitely can if you want to, but yeah. Oh, hi, Pookie. 
she wanted to talk too. We have a Pinky right here. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> Hi, Pinky. You want to be in the video too? She's not sitting on me. She's just, I don't know what she's doing, honestly. But this is Pinky. Yes. She's all up in the video. But yeah, thank you guys, as always, for tuning into these videos. And definitely like and comment below what you thought of the items inside of the box. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye for now.